everybody! Welcome back. It's everything you want. Nothing you need. Two man show tonight. Yes, indeed. we're a little short staffed. Back, back to the back to the OG cast. People have family in town. Apparently, that's important. Yeah, whatever. It's not to me. I don't have family though. Nobody loves me. Video games are our family. Video games are the only family that you need. Let's be honest. Uh, speaking of video games, what's going on in the world of video games? Um, kind of, we're kind of in the dry spell. We just got out of the holiday season. So. Holiday season's down. Smash came out. The hype train took off. Can't do it. And, off and, and now, now it's great just, it's, it's just going to be like stagnant until like the, the DLC characters come out and everything. So we got to wait for DLC announcements. Well, we got one. We got now. Yeah, we got Joker, and there's been like I can't even count how many like leaks of the other ones. Like we've heard that uh, one of the ones that I've heard the most is the Dragon Quest character. Yeah, that's probably the most prevalent one that i've seen probably uh besides that and then after that it's just like a bundled mess i've heard doom guy i've heard steve with the with the master chief skin and everything oh steve from minecraft steve from minecraft like a like a master I'll chief play skin. steve from minecraft <laughs> you, um you, you know what the next dlc is gonna be it's gonna be Fortnite flosses into battle oh no and it's gonna happen. We're well, yeah. Gonna, well, if, if they if they do, we're not gonna if, want if, they have the, if they do Fortnite, they have like unlimited freaking taunts they can do. Every ta- they can taunt. only taunt. That's yeah, it. yeah. That's the that's they the can only just thing. taunt. <laughs> they can't do any moves. And but if he hits you with the taunt, you like it's like it's like uh, Jake the Puff. You like instantly die. We are a week and a half away from Kingdom Hearts three. Jesus. No. I, I, I I brought that up a lot with my friends. I was like, hey, have you noticed that we can actually finally say it's like, hey. We're getting Kingdom Hearts 3 this month. A week and a half away from Kingdom Hearts 3. It's insane. Remember back in like 2015, we were like, remember remember Kingdom Hearts? What happened? What happened to that? Where'd it go? Well, I mean, we had games, but everyone was like, yeah, because they like, pulled a valve. They didn't know how to count to three for a while. Yeah, they were like, they, 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 and it's funny because that's how they were counting. They're like 2.5, 2.8. 2. 2. I'm like, just round up. Just, just round up. <laughs> just a run, just do it already. Bit. Just, you're almost there. Yeah, no. Uh, but, but a week and a half from now, we'll be playing. Kino. Thomas took Tuesday and Wednesday off of work. Oh, what? Well, uh, play. Kino. You know, I, I specifically asked for that Tuesday off, and thankfully, so my district manager is uh, a very close friend of mine, and no. he understands. And he's like, "You bet, you bet your ass, you're getting that Tuesday off." I'm like, "Thank you." Now you know, um, uh, the train has derailed. For. I'm tired. It's been a long day. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The train derailed. I was going to be like, oh, yeah, God. you know. And Is it the Kingdom Hearts related? Probably. But just, I don't remember it at 2 It's a. okay. It's okay. That, that train will come back. I remember it at 2 a.m. when I'm laying in bed. I'll be like, oh, that's what I was going to ask. <laughs> that's usually how it works. Then you just grab the camera. You record it. It's like, all right, so the question I was going to try to ask, though. <laughs> uh, hey, guys. So five <laughs> minutes into the podcast, I was going to ask Ian about. And then uh, you FaceTime me, and then I'm just like, huh, why <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, my answer is this. Don't fucking call me again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it, it'll, it'll be good. It'll yeah. be good. And then we'll wait 20 years for Kingdom Hearts 4. Oh, yeah. I remember. Train came back. Train came back. We're oh, good. We're back in, back in the station. There you go. All right. Uh, you have to patch in the epilogue. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to patch in. And then, uh, oh, and then a day later, you get, like, the hidden ending. That's how they're going to prevent leaks. That way no one has the ending right from the get-go. That's good. Yeah. It's sad that they have to do that. Yeah, but like, I'm one of those people who are just just go on Twitter and just, just I've muted just, every just, word yeah, that could possibly be in Kingdom. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts three. Yeah, so don't got to worry about any spoilers on that front, as long as I avoid Facebook comments for a couple of days. Mm. Oh wow, you really are tired. I, it's it's been a long day. Don't go to college, kids. Just yeah. I I just got out of work where I was good. If so someone's sure. like, hey, go to college, be like, why would I do that? Don't do that. Yeah. Don't go to college. Yeah, you end up like us. You don't want to duplicate us. Maybe you can. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's coming out. So that's a week and a half away. But uh, uh, before that, is Resident Evil 2. Is zombie time. Yes, indeed. Uh, I, I've been like contemplating whether to play the one-shot demo because uh, I don't know if you guys know, but they released a demo on the PSN and Xbox store where you literally, only, it's, it's a one-shot demo. You have 30 minutes to play, and after that, you can't play anything else. And it's one of those things where I already played the demo at A3 and everything, and I kind of just want to just go in fresh just, when the game comes out. But then it's, is just, it the it's same, just tempting me. Is it the same demo? I have no idea. Have no I, haven't, idea. I haven't looked at it because okay. it's one of those games where I don't want to look at it because any scare that I have spoiled can, like, ruin it. That's true. 
just because of that. Like, oh, I already saw in this trailer or in this gameplay that there's a zombie here. He's not going to scare me. I feel like this one won't be as terrifying as 7 simply because it's not first person. I could be wrong. Yeah. I'm sure it will still be terrifying. Um, absolutely. Yeah, I, I, it can still be. But I think but it, Seven's going to take the cake simply because it had that first person perspective. For sure. But uh, this one, uh, uh, we'll see. I'm so excited for it. Uh, you going to wear a diaper when you play it? Nah, I'm just no diaper. Uh, just full commando. Just and if it happens, it happens. Fill the bed if it happens. Yeah, it's like if if if, if Mother Nature decides to take its course, it's going to take its course. Where will you be when Resident <laughs> Evil Two strikes? Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, no, I'm very excited for that. Uh, Sometimes it depends on what day you ask me, which one I'm more excited for. Sometimes I'll say Resident Evil 2. Sometimes I'll say uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Mainly Kingdom Hearts 3, but it's one of those things where the hype is not going to really hit me because it's just, it's been so stagnant and kind of like on a roller coaster ride for what, uh, 14, 13, yeah. 13, 14 years now with 2019. Yeah, 14 years. It's 2019. I get upset when I think about that. I know, I know. Freaking like I know where he did like the New Year's yeah, Day podcast, like, free, like, but I'm still like, wait a minute. Like what? Like Ed and Eddie came 2007 out. 2007 was 12 years ago. Oh. What happened? How did we get here? Oh, we've gone through. I see the back of my head sometimes in camera shots at, at work, and I see a bald spot. And I'm like, <laughs> how did I get here? What happened? And not only that, we're still young. That's the thing. No, I'm an old fart. <laughs> <laughs> my life is halfway over. Um, Are you going out? You going out at the fifties? Um, yeah, because I feel like after that, it's well, like once you hit that lit- midlife crisis, you're like, all right, it's all right. <laughs> it's like, what's the point? <laughs> um, but uh, we were talking right before we started. It's been kind of a dry spell for gaming news. The only other thing I can think of since the last podcast would have been uh, Yoshi's. What's it called? Woolly World? Is that the new one? No, no. Woolly World is the uh, Woolly World was the, the Wii U one. What's yeah. the new one called? Topsy Turvy. Island, <laughs> Islands Adventure, sl- Bush Gardens. I don't even remember what it's called. But the new Yoshi, it's game, Yoshi game, new Yoshi game coming out in March. Uh, got a new story trailer. Um, it's sort of your basic uh, Kamek and Bowser Junior take mm-hmm. these gems off the island. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it just because uh, I've I've tended to uh, recently. Well, the past the, couple years. Uh, let's talk about the Broly movie. Oh wait, oh I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. It's okay. I, 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 saw I, it. Yeah, I know. I responded to it. I was eating dinner. You were, you were, yeah. But um, I can tell you this is very good. So mm. when you get a chance to see it, oh no, for sure, just it's, be ready. I mean, it was good. I'm a big DBZ fan, so it was good. I like I like that better than the originals, easily. I think they handled the story a lot better, but for sure. Oh, and it just seems more hype for just oh yeah, Broly against everybody. Yeah, exactly. And his, and his new like uh, aesthetically how he looks now and everything that the green and that purple ooh. Meshes very well. Beautiful. Yeah, it definitely looks better than refrigerator. <laughs> I feel like I feel like the Broly. Tone, I feel like the tone for this podcast has taken on like <laughs> you know the Pete Sweaty skit from SNL. No, the Sweaty Balls. I, I think I've heard of it. Have but you not seen the Sweaty Balls? It's like, so it's like this late night radio talk show mm-hmm. with like Alec Baldwin and I forget who the other two were. The the two women, but keep in mind it's like a radio show so it's only audio but like we see them in the studio mm. and it's they're just saying they're very calmly talking the whole time like this and then he's just like you know girls i i make these snacks and he goes i brought my my famous sweaty balls <laughs> and then they're just they're like mm, i love your balls <laughs> mm, and then he's just like <laughs> then she's like i see one of your balls is burnt he's like yeah i left it on the stove for too long <laughs> <laughs> um, you got to be careful with your sweaty balls I can't movie. believe you haven't seen, but that's, I feel like that's the tone we've taken on with this. this it's, just, it's a very mellow it's very podcast. Mellow. It's, 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 it, I think eventually at the end of it, it's just going to be like an ASMR podcast. It, it's a Thursday night. We are both exhausted. Yeah, it's but we're here work. because we love all five of you. All six. I see you. Oh, I see you. You just opened the door. You just came in. What's up? How hey, you doing? Hey, did you wipe? Don't, don't leave though. Did you Please wipe? Don't leave. Did you, did you wash your hands? I, don't hey, know. I know it says employees only, but you should wash your hands as well. Wash your hands. It's important. That's how you get to uh, not salmonella. <laughs> not, salm- not salmonella. What's the one you get? Not E. coli either. Not hepat- e. coli. Isn't that what you get? No, e. coli, that's, that's, when you, that's feces related. So unless you're touching feces. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, if you don't wipe, that's how you get E. coli. Oh, okay. Sure, yeah. I was thinking hepatitis. I'm like, that ain't it either. That ain't it either. <laughs> There's been a lot of hepatitis scares around town lately. I'm, I'm on the edge right now. Well, like, oh, welcome no. to Hill- Hillsborough County. That's how we really get Good old Hillsborough around. County. Nothing but the best. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, um... Back to the video games away from the <laughs> STDs. Speaking of hepatitis, um, I was playing I Fortnite. was playing Kingdom Hearts 3. 
<laughs> I hope if Kingdom Hearts 3 reminds you of hepatitis, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, or any disease. No, it's just those matter. sores, him and his big old boots. It just reminds me of age because I've waited so long. You think the wait for this was long? Wait till Kingdom Hearts 4. Yeah, or Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah. But the thing is, the second Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out, like the month after, it's fair game. Anything can happen. Because they they said that they were waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3 to just re- release mm-hmm. until... Oh, for, so they can announce, like, future projects? Well, you know, the only future projects just focus on, like, marketing for King, uh, Final Fantasy seven gotcha. anything. Because, okay. like, of course, that's, that's their big game. And I can see why they're, like, waiting on that. It's just because they're kind of... They're both, like, art, action RPGs and everything. And this is, uh, unfortunately, this is also the year where E3 is looking iffy. It's looking real oh. iffy. For me, I can well, say. Well, you know, I'm still willing to go, but... I don't know. I'm working three days a week this whole semester. <laughs> my paychecks are taking a hit. I'm looking at my paycheck every week. I'm like, I don't know if I can make it. I don't know if I can do this. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Well, well, you, 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 well that's the thing. You have to decide within a month. A month from now is when tickets go on sale. Yeah, it's usually the, like just for a it's second like week. the second week of February. Um, and even then, I'm hoping I, I got to go home tonight and write some articles from a friend of mine. But I'm hoping he can get some press passes. And yeah, 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 but that, that might save the trip. I can track down Sessler. Or, I don't know, somebody. Sessler, the, 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 the one mission that you've tried to complete and For have two not, years in a row, I've been trying to not, track the man down. The closest you ever got was uh, Jeff Keighley uh, when he came to you. He's like, oh, he's probably somewhere upstairs. That's usually where he is. And he's like, you're like... I'm looking, at the, I'm looking at that floor. I'm like, I can't get up there. Yeah, it's like the third floor. I bought my way in. I'm not special enough. Well, you could go up there. You just couldn't go into any of the rooms. Well, yeah. <laughs> I could just awkwardly stay in the hallway. Have you seen a bald man with a cane? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe this year, maybe next year. Maybe we'll this year, maybe. For sure, next year we'll go in. Cause all I know is the year I don't go to E3 is the year Nintendo's going to go all out. The year I don't go... That's why you can't go... Yeah, that's why you can't The be year safe. I don't go is when we're going to get a new F-Zero, a new Star Fox, the, the... the That's the thing about Nintendo at the moment. Now that it smashes out, like, what? Like, what, what do? Other than, like, Metro Prime, even though I think that's, like, far off. And Yoshi's going to be before E3. So, but, but even so, like, Yoshi isn't, like, a... Oh my god game. Uh, it's more like a It's not an oh my god game, but it is a well established franchise. Well, it's a well established franchise, it's, but it's, it's not like, it's it, not like I'm gonna buy sell. I'm gonna buy this console because I got yeah. a freaky Yoshi no, game. No, but it'll sell. It'll oh, sell. Yeah, it'll sell, yeah. But um it's not your Zelda Mario or Smash no, for sure. But it's up there. Even even Metro Prime is like a I would say like a tier two Nintendo if game. If I can get a if I can get a new Donkey Kong game, that'd be good too. Hmm. One with King K rule though. Yeah, well, we well, still, I think well, actually, well, 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 we, we still don't know what... I was uh, thinking, I think King K. Rool's owned by Rare. I don't think Nintendo owns him. Because I thought about it, King K. Rool only exists in the Super Nintendo Donkey Kong Country games. And and 64, cause he, uh, which was also made by Rare. Um, I, I, no, I still think... As soon as... I still King K. Rool is still As soon as Nintendo because, started developing the games themselves, not Rare... King K. Rool hasn't been in any game since. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think so. I, think, I don't. So I don't know. I think, I, I think it's it's since it's a Donkey Kong IP, they own all of it. I don't think they. No, they, there's some of the Kong, some of the Kongs are owned by Rare because they design it. And uh, King K. Rool was designed by uh, Greg Males from my Rare. Gra- my, my dad just sent me a message that he just subscribed to the channel. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Come on, that was that sixth person they walked in. Hello. Yeah. Our sixth person is your dad. Yeah. That's awesome. There you go. Your dad's so nice. Every, I've every, never every, met him, but he's seen every him. every every little little by little. We'll, we'll every little there. number counts. Oh no, problem, of course. And then we're, that's the thing about this year. We got, we're, just, we're gonna grind out. We're gonna grind year. out. We're gonna do podcasts. I don't want to be here right now, but I'm here for you. I'll put. A, <laughs> I'll be blunt. Honestly, and not only that. Um, like it's like I, I've said it on all the podcasts. Ian's like we're doing a podcast. It, I'm like I don't want to, but I gotta say yes. I gotta do it. Yeah, there you I gotta go. be here. Yeah, no, it, it, I, it, I love doing podcasts. Yeah, no, it's, it, it's therapeutic. Like I've said before, but it's you know just sit down just. Forget about the world. Just talk fucking video games. I'm, I'm like tired old man. I'm 25 now. What happened? Age. Age. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> I didn't ask to be born. What happened? <laughs> I didn't ask for. But then I didn't well, sign the form. But then you want to have have the chance to play all these wonderful games. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Or be in front of these. I wouldn't have been blessed people. with Superman 64. You're right. Yeah. Like game. Imagine game, a world where game of the decade, century, whatever. Superman 64 is not part of your life. Bubsy 3D is not part of your life. If you don't have Bubsy 3D or Superman 64, are you even a gamer? Exactly. Come on. Echo the Dolphin is not part of your life. Never played Echo the Dolphin. That's supposed to be a good game, though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's thought. just ridiculous. It's like you just play as a dolphin. You ever play Knights? Yes. It's really good. Yeah. I played... Uh, I want to I wanna make it a, a tradition for every Christmas. I, I played... Uh, the Christmas Knights? Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. It sounds like a little nice. Because it's, it's the only real, like main focus like Christmas game Final Fantasy 7 aside 
do you have a game that you play every year, like a traditional game? I wouldn't see. I, I wouldn't say it's a tradition, but just because it's happened a lot, I would say Jack and Daxter, the precursor legacy, okay. the first one. I know Mainly I, because uh, I have was it three, four platinums of the game already? Okay. Because I wait, I plan them on PS3, I plan them on Vita, and now I plan them on PS4. Can we talk about limited run games and their? It was limited run, right? Yes, it was limited run. Uh, they did a uh, sold Jack out one. in like five frames. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, like, how fast. Okay, so that was also my it was wasn't my mistake not to create an account and then have my billing information already saved up. So I, all I had to click was two buttons. But even so, then, but even then, I I, I was right out. there. I was right there. Right when I hit zero seconds, I went through all the page. I didn't say anything. Well, here, well, and, well, and then after well, I did a complete uh, complete order, it was just like it loaded and it was like, eh. We'll get some context here. Uh, so limited run games. If you haven't heard of them, very cool company. They print physical copies of uh, some smaller indie titles, typically more obscure titles, uh, or in this case, uh, it was a physical edition of Jack and Daxter for the PS4, right? Am I right about that? What? Did you just zone out? Yeah, I zoned out. But yeah, uh, so I was saying limited run, limited run. They 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 make hard copy prints of of obscure yes. indie titles, typically. Uh, but the, the one we're talking about here specifically, it was a Jack and Daxter. Yeah, it was a Jack and Daxter uh, PS4. Right? Yeah, it was a it was a it included a, phys, a physical copy of the game. Okay, for PS4. Um, it, is that available digitally? Yeah, it's available digitally. I get that right now. Yeah, I didn't even know they had that. Well, yeah, it's a it's it's not like a remaster. It's not. A, it's like a like port the, of the PS3 version. No, it's a port of the PS2 version. Oh, so it's not even like the HD. It's not even the HD version. No. What? Yeah, I think. That, well, I first thing I, I they made a, bit a mistake of a waste. there. Yeah, because like, they already had like, they, they had the foundations. They already made a remastered version on PS3. Why, they they should have just ported that. Yeah, it's because um, they ha- I'm pretty sure they have that on um, PlayStation now, and then they have the PS2 thing where every like month or so they upload a PS2 game okay. classic, and then that was just happened to be one of them. Well, they, they have all three now. It's less cool now, but, but, but yeah. still having a physical version of Jack in on on PS4. PS4 and it came with what an art book and some other goodies. It, it came with an art book, a little statue, it was like, like a shirt. That, yeah. Okay, the well, there, one, there were multiple versions. There was a. I was getting the seventy dollars version, like the fifty dollars version, just included a shirt. That's the only difference. So you're probably paying like thirty bucks for the shirt. No, you're or, paying like seventy bucks for the shirt. It was like well, 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 there was one that was like seventy four ninety nine. Game though, I'm, but that wasn't that was included in the in the seventy dollar the seventy eighty dollars. That's version. what I'm saying. So like the game itself was probably like thirty dollars of that cost. Yeah, and then the shirt was like the rest. Yeah. yeah. The price of a car, apparently, but yeah, um, but yeah, no, the the cheaper version ran out immediately, and then they had a, they have they have like a timer or like a countdown of how many are left, and I was looking at the hundred sixty dollar version as it came down. And it was like, it's like, should I? No, you know, be strong, be strong. No, and I didn't do it. Um, I already have an, uh, uh, enough uh, Jack and Dasher memorabilia and everything. I have all the games. I have two freaking statues of uh, the gaming heads that there's only 750 in the world that's right so those things are pretty hefty in price now so i'm okay I, i'm okay with that oh and i also have a a lithograph signed by the art team okay so i, I have my jack and dax for you're sad i'm sad like right, also, right, right, right right now I'm, I'm focusing on my final fantasy collection you're also, you're also a champion now last oh time, last time we did a podcast you weren't a champion now you're a champion Oh yeah! Want to brag about your championship? Oh yeah! So I play a I play a card game just because I'm weeb. Uh, yeah, I, I have to I have to cover all. Go ahead, tell, all I, have, tell, I have to cover every single. Tell geek. them the card game you play. Final Fantasy. Shocker! I know I know this comes as a huge surprise that he plays a Final Fantasy card game. Yeah, yeah. You would have never guessed. It's like well, there's also, there's also people who think because I have I have more Pokemon tattoos than Final Fantasy tattoos, and then people are like, "Do you play the Pokemon card game?" And I'm like, "Nah, no." Speaking but, of which, I, w- I tried to go by the card shop the other day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was with two of my friends. I was with Thomas and uh, another friend of mine, Darnell. Mm-hmm. And it was like it was like 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. And we're walking over, and we just saw like 10 people standing outside. Mm-hmm. And then we were like, nah, we're good. There's clearly something going on here. <laughs> yeah, no, they have their big tournaments and everything. But yeah. You know it was? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I won the pretty much like the first major tournament of the year. And everything. What's it like to be better than everybody? It's pretty good. 
it's, it's pretty good. Pretty good. But you know, uh, it, it felt very surreal. It felt a lot of, like I've never had so many people congratulate me for something. <laughs> you cured cancer. Uh, you no. made Final Fantasy the train card game. Yes. yes. Yeah, I know. It was like, oh, uh, what's it called? They congratulated me. Like, it was, it's just a nice community to be around. Like, uh, I made a lot of friends. Uh, He's the champion out of all 10 players <laughs> in the whole state. Yeah. But it was a lot of fun. Uh, won, a lot, won a lot of stuff. I would probably say around like prior one or like, 1k you won worth of prizing you won state there's only one more thing to do gotta go nationals no you know that, that's the plan we, we gotta go already national now i already have a plan uh i'm going to i give you a VG- Virgi- i'm going to virginia in february for a vgx7 shirt oh you'll be my sponsor i'll be your sponsor oh, hell yeah sponsored by vg what's vgx7 they'll look it up they'll be like oh cool they made like mediocre stuff i'll be like oh, yeah like, oh, we do hey it has nothing to do with these cardboard ca- welcome <laughs> well, yeah no, look at nascar fun. sponsored by Monster and <laughs> it's a, or Gillette. It's like, hey, while well, you're driving that fast Papa car, Papa John, don't you want to? You know what? Watching this car makes me want to get a pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you going three hundred miles an hour? Pizza, of course. But yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. Uh, good time I had. It was right here. It was a uh, just a little pass Orlando. Uh, but yeah, no, had a lot of fun. Bunch of like the trophy I won was insane. It's like this, like this big, and it has like a mag. It has a coil and a magnet, and like it floats in the air and just it goes around. And I'm just like, I want that. He's a floating trophy. It just, but yeah, you really are better than everyone. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. Congratu- congrat- congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. I have won. <laughs> Did you write? <like> <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Kojima himself comes down. Oh, that would have been the best. You ready for Death Stranding? I mean, UPS, uh, well, UPS uh, uh, Delivery Man the Game. I would say I'm excited for Dress Standing if I knew what the hell it was. It's UPS Delivery Man the Game. I know, but, but what's there ex- <laughs> to be excited about that? Like, I remember watching the, the trailer, and it's just uh, I'm worried Norman Reedus w- walking around a, a plain landscape. I'm like, I'm All worried right, that this game looks- is going to pull a ukulele. Because ukulele was the spirit of Banjo-Kazooie. Mm-hmm. Made by the exact same people who made Banjo Kazooie, so you'd think the Dream Team making a banjo like game would have been perfect. It was good. It but wasn't it, as good as Banjo, nah. and I'm worried that's what's going to happen with Death Stranding. Everyone's going to be like, "Well, it's like, all right." Well, for me, it like, ain't Metal Gear. For me, the, the like the gameplay kind of looked like something out of like. Oh, it's like, oh, hey, we're working on an engine and a build. Here's some test footage. That's what it looked like. It doesn't look like it. Like, yeah, to me, it doesn't look like, like actual, I, Yeah, it doesn't look like it should be a game, but it's just, apparently it is. And then I'm just like, oh, shit, we're in trouble. Yeah. But um, but that's the thing. If we want to play uh, a Metal Gear Solid type of game, we have one coming out. Uh, was it Left Alive? Oh, you're talking about from the presentation? No, 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 no. There, there's a game called uh, Left Alive. Look it up. Uh, and it's made by the uh, original people that worked on Metal Gear. And it looks, the art, it looks just like Metal Gear. And the gameplay is just like Metal Gear. I did not know this. Yeah. And it comes out in March. Does Konami this make it? Hell no. Oh. It's, a, it's, it's being uh, published by Square Enix. Gotcha. So okay. they'll make yeah, it as weeb as they can. <laughs> but, you know, uh, that comes out. Thing either the beginning or ending in March, so that's like another game. That's the thing. Uh, I've sh- I've seen the past like two or three years for some reason. All the big before that, uh, all the big games always came out in like October to like December, mm-hmm. and now for some reason they're all coming out in the beginning of the year. Like last year was the same. We got Monster Hunter, we got uh, Dragon Ball, in uh, the pre- previous year to that, we got Resident Evil. That so it, it's looking, it's looking good. Um, What's going on? What's going on the Sony front? Oh wait, what plans oh. do you think they have for E3? Oh wait, oh, wait. oh nothing, nothing at all. What? Hopefully, like I, I, I'm, I'm just hoping they have like a thing where I hope they just do a thing where during E3, when they would normally have their slot and nothing's going on, they just tweet a picture that just is like a PlayStation Five logo or something, <laughs> and that's just it. Just no, 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 no. No, what I want them to do is like during the Xbox com- uh, conference, it's just like everything turns off, and you see a Sony logo. Sony just- logo comes out like yeah. No, I just want if if Xbox announces the next console. And they're like, it's going to be four ninety nine. PlayStation just tweets three ninety nine. No, it's it's just. Uh, they, you, you've they, seen that clip, right? Have I yeah. actually two ninety nine? Two ninety nine. No, yeah, he walks into the portal. They like need this to two ninety nine, and he just walks back. I really hope they pull that again for the next system. Yeah, but they, they kind of did for the PS four. 
Because yeah, Xbox, the, the, Xbox well, One it, was four ninety nine well, at that point, but that was more of uh, Xbox beating themselves up, and then just and then uh, that's because and, and then PlayStation would just close the casket. That's because Don Matrix was like, you know what, gamers love TV, TV and sports. You know what don't make gamers don't like in games. Gamer gamers want to be able to hook up their console and say, hey, watch TV. And they were like, Shh, I mean, I guess, and sure, and they went for it, and Phil Spencer had to just. Turn the wheel completely and do a full U-turn. It was not pretty. <laughs> but needless to say, I'm re- I'm very excited for the next Xbox. For sure, especially in, when it's in the right hands at the moment. I'm not excited for digital only, but that's another. We'll see. Um, it's one of those things where, uh, especially with Xbox uh, recent uh, acquiring of all these like studios, like the past like year or two. So it's exciting to see what they come up with when they just don't have like the same two or three shooters making the same two or three games. Did you know you can go to patreon.com slash VGX7 to support this? There's my ad read. Oh. That made me feel like we had a sponsor. Oh, there you go. We're our own sponsor, though. I am the sponsor. Yeah, you are the sponsor. I am the host <laughs> and the sponsor. It's like, oh, you see all this? I made it. You know Conan O'Brien has a podcast now? What, what is he? He has his own talk show. That's basically yeah. a podcast. So, so his show is called Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. Conan, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> you're getting a free commercial right here. So please support me. Um, he 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 takes people he's interviewed on his show and he brings them on for one on one time for like forty five minutes. Mm-hmm. And he's basically like, "Yeah, I've interviewed you, but we don't really hang out." And then he like talks to them on a more personal level, and he's like. You think we could hang out? You think like we could be friends? And then like at, at the end, like his producer chimes in. They're like, "Hey, uh, Will Ferrell. Uh, so, do you think you could be friends with Conan?" And they'll, they'll be like, "Yeah, I'd say about a six out of ten. I could probably hang out with him every now." I go to a coffee shop with him, but that's it. Yeah, no, and it's, yeah, that's literally what his podcast is. It's pretty fun. I like cool. it. But, uh, but Conan, subscribe to me. I'll be your friend. Nintendo, give me free stuff. King, that's 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 a big one. Especially right. being sponsored by Nintendo, that's a, that's a big one because Nintendo doesn't really sponsor because it's like it's not like they need it. What it's, Nintendo? It's, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. No. It's very like if if you want to get sponsored by Nintendo, like on a YouTube channel or something, you had to have like exclusive like content for like Nintendo products and stuff like yeah. that. Whatever I've seen, like I've if, you're, often, if you're like any, I've often thought because like if you're a Nintendo exclusive YouTuber and you're popular. They they hook you up. Oh, they hook you and up. They yeah, they, 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 right. Like, yeah, they they they, they do. But you got to be I, like I, a I've Nintendo seen. exclusive, and I'm like, I do have. I actually did make another channel like three or four years ago called Nintendo Central mm-hmm. that I have, and um, I was good for all of two weeks doing daily videos on <laughs> on Nintendo news, um, and I got a whopping 21 subscribers from it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you know, it's, it's called. Progress. I don't like to toot my own horn or anything. But like, it was two weeks, twenty-one. That's more like at least a Speaking, subscriber day. Speaking of which, I do have some good news. Uh, this just happened last night. So I met a guy at USF uh, about two years ago. His name is Alex Wadsworth. He's from the Tampa area. He has a YouTube channel called The Wads, which is his family. It's like a family vlog channel. Mm-hmm. The guy has skyrocketed since I last talked to him. Last I knew, he had twelve thousand subscribers. He's now at fifty-nine thousand subscribers. It's more than um, one. He actually, <laughs> I accidentally texted him. We, we hadn't talked in like a year, and I mm-hmm. accidentally texted him a few weeks back, and uh, we, we've been chatting uh, more recently. He's actually got some free tickets. He has 10 free tickets to an event in March in Orlando called PodFest, and it's like a giant podcasting networking weekend convention. We do that. And it's, it's a $300 ticket for free. So I'm going to go to that that weekend and hand out my business card to when, anyone when, who will take it. When exactly is it? It's the uh, second weekend of March. So it's like I'm, the 7th, 8th, and 9th. Ooh, I might see because I do have a trip planned so for Kansas. I don't know about Ian, but I will be at PodFest in March. Uh, if anyone, I doubt anyone listening to this will be there, but um, I figured it would be a good experience. We can ump, you know, bump this up. In uh, in views, yeah. And, well, and any, any type of traction, like uh, also like having like a community, being a, well, it just be us, our own community manager, and spread the word. Like yeah. whatever, whenever we post, do think we'll get there. It's just we have to put in the work and work. <laughs> you gotta, I gotta, I gotta work for I this. Got, 
That's, I what, I, that's, what, like, I, that's what I heard. They don't, they don't have a manual like, for this. They, they just like put us here and then I can't we, just we be have like, to figure it out. I can't just be like, subscribe to PewDiePie and then I get like a million subscribers. Yeah. That's not how this works. No, Darn apparently it. not. You can't just like say somebody's name and just. PewDiePie. If I just say PewDiePie. That one guy, there's a channel actually. The guy literally just sat there. I think he said PewDiePie. I know he said, I think he did one for Logan Paul or something. Mm-hmm. But he literally sat there and he said his name like. A million times or a hundred thousand times, like it's it like a twenty-four hour video. I th- oh, I think he I, just I, sits I, I, there. Okay, you know, I think I know what like, you're talking about. He, he his he, name is Mr. Beast. Yeah, he, I think yeah, he, yeah, he only, his channel is exclusive to like just twenty-four hour of him just doing a certain action for and, twenty-four hours. Well, he does that. He also does huge giveaways on Twitch. Like I remember, he, I, I think I remember like one time he like read the whole like English dictionary. He uh, he'll show up to random Twitch channels and he'll dump like a hundred thousand dollars. He's like, here. And, and then, like, he, like, you know, makes, like, reaction compilations to all that. Now, where he gets the money from, I have no idea. Well, he's, but, he's your, like, randomly drop into our channel. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Help us out. Um, but he did that. I think he did, he did one video where he traveled across his state to every Walmart, and he bought a Snickers. And at the end, he just had, like, a car just full of <laughs> Snickers. <laughs> what did you do this? I don't have anything else to do. Yeah. So, we yeah. just gotta we gotta find a we gotta find a shtick. Our shtick right now is, hey, you think people are watching us? It's, it's not a very like, good shtick. <laughs> I hate to tell you. It's like we the know people listening to this one. Finally, they finally got it. They got, they got it. Like, I was worried they were never gonna get it, but they got there. They got one more subscriber. They're almost there. I still haven't gotten this on iTunes because I don't want to spend the fifteen bucks. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I think I think that's more of a step where uh, once we get off our once we get off our feet out here, then we can go venture. But we'll let's, figure it out. Let, let's figure it out at one place, and then we'll figure it out at the other places. Anyway, I feel like we've been talking logistics of our podcast more than doing the actual podcast. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be talking about video games. So we're talking about video games. We, we've gone through so many things. We've gone through gonorrhea. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's why you say. Is that what you talk? Oh no, it wasn't gonorrhea. Oh god, no, it wasn't gonorrhea. Hepatitis? Well. Yeah, that one. <laughs> no, wait, wait, they're all the same. It was hepatitis, and uh, oh, there was another one. No, I th- no, no, it was uh, hepatitis and E. coli. E. coli. There you go. There you go. We're the, the, the quality culture. content here. <laughs> Nothing but the shits. I yeah. mean, <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, you were talking about the gonorrhea. I was like, what? Oh, what, what? Same difference. Oh gosh. But yeah, um, what yeah, are, let's what, go. What are we doing with our lives, Ian? I you play know, new games lately? Or are you just no, okay. At the moment, I'm, 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 Hearts no, I've been playing kind of like multiplayer games just because I know that starting next week, I won't have time for anything I pick up. So it's kind of more like finding my time with like school and work to like distract myself just so I don't start playing a game because I know the minute Resident Evil 2 comes out and Kingdom Hearts 3, I won't be playing that for like the rest of time. Right. I'm just going to forget it and it's going to be in my to, to finish list that is already big enough that it has to be. Sure, sure. There's plenty of games out there that I want to get to around playing, but I can't. But then, but then my ass just goes ahead and plays Final Fantasy VII for like the tenth time. So like whatever. I finally got off my butt. I think I might have mentioned this last time. Uh, but I'm now like 45 hours into Persona Five. Oh yeah, yeah you mentioned you mentioned. Uh, you were good. So I'm I am I'm past the fourth palace now. Like I did the Hawaii trip, and I'm right past that. Sure, the fourth palace is. That's Futaba's palace. Who's Futaba? Oh, Futaba. And then you go to Hawaii, and then you come back, and then the principal dies. Oh, yeah, yeah, So I'm right there. That's where, oh, I'm, yeah, you, that's where you, I'm at right now. You still got a little bit to go. Not okay. too much, but a little okay. bit to go. I'm getting there. I'm trucking. Uh, I forgot. What was the number of... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kind of going. But I'm beating myself up because I'm really loving it. Like, for 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 years at this point, I was just kind of like, ah, whatever. I'm yeah, it came out in... Tw- 2016, I think. It was the year... Or no, no, it was 2017. 2017? Yeah, 2017. It was 2017. Because I remember, oh. remember it came out the month right after Zelda 2016 kid. was three years ago now. Oh, man. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, like two years ago. Uh, uh, three. Oh, but yeah, no, you were right. It was two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. You know, and it was, and it now, was April 2016. Now, you know, they've already teased in March there's going to be a new Persona 5 announcement. Yeah. And it's just uh, going to be a Switch port. Probably the Switch port. Yeah. Which pre- will surprise it, no one. It, and it, then it, I'll be like... It's going to be the same thing they did with Golden, but uh, there's no such thing well, as a Well, what's Vita. really going to happen, what's funny is... Probably by the time I get around to being the original is when the new one will come out, and then I'll just be like, "Well, now I gotta buy it again." And it, 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 it depends if the, the the content they put in there is if values, it's like a straight, value, values if it's a straight port. I'm just like, ah, whatever. 
No, they will add some some things, but I don't think maybe I think Golden. I think they added like an extra dungeon, but it's not like a story dungeon. It's more like a hey, do I have to? Like, I know, eat, I know, you got, I know you, you did everything else, so just do this. I have to like eat my words now because my girlfriend loves Persona. It's like her mm-hmm. favorite series, and I would just always like just crap on it just for the sake of pushing her buttons. I'm like, nah, I'm playing like garbage. I'm not playing like garbage. And now I'm in the middle of playing it and I'm like, I am garbage. I am the <laughs> that's, garbage. That's, that's the, same, the same thing with me, except I don't have a girlfriend. So I just, I just bash oh. on Daniel. D- so I, Daniel could be your girlfriend. Just put a wig on him. No, I would, I would, I would not. That was, it would be an abusive relationship. <laughs> For Jeez. sure. <laughs> At least you're honest. Yeah, no, I, I badge on him on Watch Dogs. The only difference is I play Watch Dogs and it's still, it's still a bad game. Oh, that's right. He likes Watch Dogs. Yeah, he likes Watch Dogs. He likes a lot of bad things. What? How do you like Watch Dogs? I don't know. Um, like, real question. What? I got in a car in, in, in the first one. I got in a car, drove about 10 feet, and I just got out of the car, and I was like, I never want to play this game ever again. <laughs> And I don't think I did. I, I think, think well, I, the only thing I remember from wa- the first Watch Dogs that I liked was a glitch I ran into. Ah, the Ubisoft special. Yes. yes. Uh, th- th- that's The game fucking up is what made me enjoy it the most. The only glitchless game they've made in a long time is Rayman Legends. That's the only solid built game they've made in a while that's not broken. Yeah, I, I like I like Origins. Uh, Rayman Origins and Legends are pretty good games. Um, I thought you were about Assassin's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, wait I a minute. It. I, 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 the, what was the, the last Assassin's Creed that I actually enjoyed to play? Um, three, four. I wouldn't even say I enjoyed Black Flag. Three. I didn't enjoy Black Flag. I, I, I'm. It says Assassin's Creed. Not. I don't expect to be shooting booty across the sea. Like you know how in Pokemon you have the Gen Oneers who are just like ah. Oh, Gen 1 was the best. Yeah, Assassin's Creed 2 was the best. Ezio was the best, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Once it got past Ezio, I'm like, I don't care anymore. Once yeah, they killed they, Desmond, I was like, I, I, I think I think the the series should go the way that Desmond Mouse did and just die. <laughs> he should just drop dead. He just dropped dead. Just like he did in the game where he just touched his testicle and he died. That's all that happened. But, uh, yeah, no, um, I love shitting on Daniel. I already do that. I already do it on a daily Danny. basis. Daniel. <laughs> I already do that on a daily basis. We need a Daniel and Danny podcast where it's just the well, just them two and then just us in the background just like judging. It's like random. <laughs> we, have a, we have clipboards and we're like, hmm. hmm. Interesting. Is it well straight to your mother? Here's the stupid thing you said today. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, another big thing happened today was uh, the MK11 live stream where they revealed a bunch of characters in the gameplay. Of the Martin, game. Martin Luther King 11. Came out? MK- Mortal Kombat. Oh, oh, yeah, why didn't yeah. you say so? I don't know. But yeah, there was a stream for like Mortal Kombat and they showed the gameplay and like I think like eight characters and everything. Yeah. So it looks neat. I'm more of a Street Fighter guy, but it looks neat. Yeah, I've never been. I'm I'm not big into fighters, period. Uh, but Mortal Kombat, I think, is probably on the lower. Yeah, no, uh, for me, I, well, it's, I mean, I'm not, I, yeah, it's no, just not no, my thing. For me, it's not my thing just because the, uh, the controls are... M- Completely different compared to all the fighting it's games. It's a very like it's, I, I mean it's, it's I'm, I'm used to, I'm, I'm I'm used to my quarter circles and uh, yeah. my shoryukens and everything. But then when you told me press left, press right, and press a button, I'm like, where's where's the motion? Like what? Where's the, yeah? Yeah, no, it's 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 weird. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, might get it, might not. Um, you, you got any uh, you got any wild predictions for this year, game release wise? Game given the year wise? No, just game releases. Game releases? Oh. Damn, um, Things that are like kind of on the horizon, you're like, I could see them dropping that this year. I can maybe see Last of Us releasing this year. Maybe. 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 I, I think it's one of those things where I really do believe that they're not having an E3 because like in September or in August, they're going to have the, like their own like uh, reveal con- reveal conference thing. And I then f- and then, and, then, and they're going to they're, they're gonna show like Last of Us on PS5 and everything. And it's going to be like a Twilight Princess thing where it comes out on PS4, and when a PS5 comes out, uh, it'll be there too. I do think uh, Nintendo announced this probably, I think it was two years ago, or at least a year ago. Uh, Miyamoto was like, oh, yeah, we're working on Pikmin 4. And then we just never saw anything or heard anything about it. So I'm, uh, at the very least, I think we'll see that at E3. Uh, yeah, if, I can if, see that. Because it's already uh, confirmed they, that they're making it. They definitely it. do need a bigger title than that. Pik- oh. Pikmin's up there. It's not a smash. It's, it's, okay, yeah, it's not a smash. It's but it's a quote unquote. Yeah, but it's like again, it's it's not a Mario Kart. It's not a 3D platformer Mario game. It's not Smash. What's really sad is from I I saw a video. I probably put it below like a Mario Party game. Honestly. Someone did a video recently I saw on YouTube that was sort of like what happened to F Zero, and um, 
one of the things they, they cited was an interview with Miyamoto. I think it was Miyamoto um, or one of the producers of F-Zero. And they were basically like, on the surface level, it was just, we have no interest in making a new F-Zero. Simply because with with their games, they always like to try to innovate to add a new oh, yeah, no, thing. That's, 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 that's very and F-Zero is what it is. It's, 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 just, it's the fast racing. And it's like, and they were like, why would they want something that we can't add anything new to? Yeah. Um, Cause even Which so, I can understand. Because even so, like that's pretty much like you can just look at that with their Zelda games and their Mario games. Like the main, like with Zelda games, like they're usually their main mechanic of the game is in the title. Of yeah. The game. Like uh, Wind Waker. Yeah. Ocarina of Time. But that's why Majora's but, Mask. And that's why Breath of the Wild was so successful because they literally just they added everything new to it that they could. Mm-hmm. And it, it, even, it, even, it even with it, even with Odyssey. Oh yeah, cap, the, cap, the, the mechanic the cap. was incredible. Yeah, and it, um, like, like, and even like the the one game they they had like uh, that kind of felt the same. They didn't really add much new to it. Was uh, the Galaxy One? Well, from, from going from Galaxy One to Galaxy Two, a lot of people would say that Galaxy Two just feels like DLC. Yeah, they added Yoshi, and that was it. And it was kind of yeah, that's they, not that, a huge. That's not. That's like for, that's why like a lot of people. A lot of people still regard those games a lot, uh, pretty highly. I do as well, but a lot of people do bash on them for I no reason. I don't like Galaxy as much as most people. It's not bad, but I'm like, eh. Let's let's. Oh, all right, I know you're big, big on like uh, 3D platformer Mario games. So let's, let's let's go ahead and rank them right now. All right, you want to go down the list? Yeah, you want to go down the list? All right, let me, I, I'm, I, all right I'm, I'm gonna leave your list. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say mine. Just okay. hold, hold on to it. All right, bottom of the list. Uh, Super Mario World. No, 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 no World. Uh, uh, 3D. 3D Land. 3D. Not 3D. Yes. No, not 3D Land. The Wii U uh, one. The Wii U. Is it 3D World? 3D World. Okay, yeah. Su- 3D World. I forgot the 3D. I was going to say Super Mario World. I'm like, no, that's a good game. But yeah, uh, it's all right. It's just they try to incorporate things that just didn't feel like a Mario game. When they're all the cooperative or anything. Like, when I play a Mario game, I just want to play by myself. Right. Uh, number two. From, from the bottom. From the, Oh, yeah, from the bottom. So, I don't know. Okay, there's... Sorry. there's, there's <laughs> I don't there's even like, know. There's like five or six. Okay, so there's 64, there's Sunshine, there's Galaxy, there's Galaxy 2, there's 3D, 3D, 3D World, World, and there's 3D Odyssey. Land. And there's Odyssey. Okay, so we got six. So we got six. Number five, I would pick... Wait, Sunshine? Did you say Sunshine? Yeah, it's a Sunshine. Okay. Uh, uh, number... Oh, God. I would probably... <laughs> Super Mario Galaxy 2? Okay. Maybe. See one, they're they're indistinguishable for me. One and two. Yeah, I I would put two and then one. I'll put one one first just because one felt felt most fresh. It's like yeah, I'll, like, no, I, I, like I, that, I, that was a game to get when the Wii came out. I'd put one ahead of two, absolutely. Um, so there's that. So now I have sixty four Odyssey and Sunshine. Okay, so after that I will put Sunshine, then Odyssey, then sixty four. That's okay. how I, that's how I would so put. So we we share the same top three at Sun because. Top three for me, I definitely know number three, I'd, I'd say Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Two and one would be 64 and Odyssey. I don't quite know how I feel about which it, one. It depends on there. what day you, you It depends you on the it, mood I'm in that day. Yeah, uh, I feel you. That's the same thing I, I feel with like five, I, six, seven, and nine. I want to say 64 first, um, but that's also coming but from... It's, it's just nostalgia. That's, that's just coming from a couple points. It's coming from a nostalgia nostalgia glasses mm-hmm. uh, it's also the game that got me into and i don't do this often but it, i could say it's the game that got me into watching speed runs mm-hmm. big into the speed run community um was mario 64 as well uh so i hold it in a high regard for that respect um but odyssey is you know very close second and again depending on the day you ask me i'd say um mm-hmm. they could flip uh probably number four i would say galaxy i guess we have about the same list then really yeah, you just you just uh, pretty much switch to the first and second spot. Yeah, like, yeah. Rearrange forever. But yeah, um, usually uh, I've seen a lot of people they usually put like Sunshine at the bottom. It's like kind of like it's kind of like Sunshine's bla- a love it or hate it game. Yeah, it's, from it, what it, I, it's, I would say it's a black sheep of the 3D platform I, ones. I never. I think I think 3D. I always I think, loved I, it. I think 3D World should be the black sheep if you if you're going to like it. Let, let it be that one. Be the black. 3D sheep. World's great if you have three friends. Exactly at it. your house. If if you don't. And, and 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 when you're at your house and you want to play games with people, you don't just go, bro. All right, we're all gathered together. Together, we're gonna play some cool many players. All right, who's ready to play 3D World? Who's play? Yeah, you ready to play some Super Mario yeah. 3D World? Nah, Smash. Nah, Mario Party. Nah, Smash Mario Kart. 3D Mario World. Party. Nah, Mario World. Like, eh, yeah, sorry. No. Nice art. It's a beautiful looking game. It looks great. Yeah, it's, it's very shiny. It's very like, shiny. 
Gameplay wise, uh, that, that, that was a, like a thing with Wii U games that are just shiny. Oh, Nintendo knew how to use that, that, that blue. That, that, yeah, they, they were like, mm. they 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 hired uh, JJ Abrams. Like, can you work on? We're gonna make yeah. that 720p console look <laughs> fine. Indeed, but yeah, no, I think that's that's a concise list. Yeah. So, so there's your there's your top ten list. All right, for top top fifteen Final Fantasy games. <gasps> I'm just Final what now? Final Fantasy games. Never met it. Yeah, that would take way too long, and then explaining every the one. only one I've beaten is fifteen. I've been a little. You've beaten all of them. No, I've been a little overhead. There's like. Oh, I, I'm surprised. Yeah, there's like like one, two, and three. I haven't gone around to it just because. Okay, I play. I played. No, no, I was close to being one, but those are just like the like the niche the niche type of ones. Those are the ones that where if you really like Final Fantasy games, then you'll get into them. But I, I yes, I've played every single Final Fantasy game. I have not beat every single Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy game. That's I said. I had my sights on six, and I still have it seen in my Super Nintendo. I just need to turn. Well, back now on. with. Uh, I don't want anybody having an excuse that you haven't played a Final Fantasy game now that they're going to be on Switch this year. They announced, well, they'll actually yeah. they announced in April they're going to have 10 and 12, and then eventually they're going to have 7 and 9, which are the best ones. Get at me. Uh, and then 8, we don't, they don't talk about, so I guess we don't talk about it either. <laughs> Is that, is, that, is that the rule? Yeah, that's the rule. It's like, the yeah. community doesn't talk about well, it. Well, we don't talk about it, so they're not going to talk about it. They say they're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. We have our pride. Yeah, it, it, it's, Final Fantasy is the black sheep. It's just mainly because uh, I like the game, but it's definitely not my highest. It's just because of the, the mechanics of it. They're very weird. Everyone knows the best Kingdom Hearts game is um, Final Fantasy VII. Chain of Memories. What? <laughs> <laughs> and, and even when you say that, are you talking about the GBA one or are you talking about the PS2 one? Yes. Those both trump okay. every other Kingdom Hearts game. I actually do like Same it. Same with Reloading. I do, like, I remember when I, I was little, I really liked the aesthetic and everything of uh, Chain of Memories on GBA. Oh, well, yeah, no, it looks nice. Not, not, not on PS2, though. That, that game just mm. clunky. It's just like, oh, hey, it's because you look at it, it looks like it's Kingdom Hearts 1. It's like, oh, I'm going to go jump and do all these things, but you can't. You just I think that cards. game would have been much more successful if it had been like a traditional turn-based. Yeah. I think that would have been a very cool thing to have on Game Boy Advance at the time. would have been a turn-based Kingdom Hearts game. Yeah, but I uh, think that would have been amazing. But I think there was just something that was attached to the series, and then if they d- were to do that, it would, they made it. That would make it to Final Fantasy. But yeah, yeah, well, that's true. That's true. But yeah, Final Fantasy. The and then they made Final Fantasy fifteen. They were like, it's it's Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Well, but it's and just swords instead of keys. Yeah, and you teleport. If you gave Noctis a key, it would just be Kingdom Hearts. And that's also another thing. Uh, apparently, uh, the voice actors of for Sephiroth and Cloud said they have not done any voices for Kingdom Hearts three. So it, it seems like they're not going to be. That's a lie. That's a lie. Uh, that's, 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 a lie. That's, that's, that's a lie, at least for they, Sephiroth. Because they, they want uh, you to think. Because you better have a Sephiroth boss fight. If you don't, why did you make Kingdom Hearts yeah. 3? I mean. Like, if we're going to do this game right, do it right. There's not going to be any Final Fantasy characters in this game. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't seen any. I feel like, I feel like, this is my theory, which, you know, Kingdom Hearts is nothing but theories. Um because we've seen from the trailers, really, Sora, Sora finally hits that low point, and he's all by himself. I feel like that's when the Final Fantasy characters are going to have to step up. He, 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 uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, he's grown with us. When, when Sora's all by himself and everyone else is down and defeated, that's when you're going to see like that foot come into frame, and you're going to have Squall, and you're going to have Cloud, and you're going to have everybody he's, just right yeah, that there. That would be so cool. It's like, oh, all oh, my Disney friends couldn't help me because they all suck. Yeah. And then here come all the melodramatic emo boys. Here come, come all the emo me. boys that we haven't seen at all. It's like, oh, these are the boys that actually know how to fight. That's my theory, is the Final Fantasy guys are going to step up once, once Sora's down and out. And that's that'd, why that'd be dope it. if like because yeah. this game's all about like di- light and darkness, and then freaking Sora just ends up being a warrior of light, exactly. like Final Fantasy. I'm like, what the fuck? But that seems too cool to be true. Maybe not that far, but I I'm willing to bet that would, that would be my favorite. I'm dream. willing to bet when Sora's down and out, Final Fantasy's gonna step in. Cloud is just gonna come out. It's either that or someone's gonna give him a hug, and then through the power of friendship, his Keyblade will glow. And it'll shoot a magic <laughs> His key beam out of will it. Glow. And it'll just destroy all the dark. And everyone will live happily ever after. I, I think that's one of the reasons why it might, like, I've kept my hype for Kingdom Hearts 3 kind of, like, tame the past, like, half a year or so. It's because you whenever, know whenever I, nothing but friendship. The yeah, it's just, friendship. I'm sorry, it's just the voice acting. I'm just like, God, mm. like, this is not, this is, is this what I liked? And, getting, then, and, then, and then I played Kingdom Hearts 2 again to... Uh, reacquaint yourself yeah and i'm just like the voice acting i'm like oh it's always been like this i and and now with kingdom hearts 3, i'm getting so used to the japanese voices 
that I'm like, I'd almost rather just have it. Or, do you know if it's going to have dual audio? Pretty sure they. Will I be able to? Because if I, I'll, I'll I don't be, know. I'll it's, be it's, a true it's, weeb it's, and it's switch it like Japanese. It's going to be like a standard now for games to have like dual audio. Yeah. Like but Square specifically, do they usually have? Like think think of like Final Fantasy 15. Could you have Japanese voices in that? I think so. I don't know. But I kept it in English. I, I, I did I, too, actually. I, I didn't. But I, didn't I, go to I feel like for Kingdom Hearts 3, if I start hearing that English and then I go, nah, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just switch it to Japanese. Yeah. I, I, I think it does. We'll see. But then we'll see. I know, I'm still going to play in English, even though it's going to sound very cringy. Just, uh, I think the aspect of. I know you know what they're saying because you have subtitles, but just because it's in a different language, it does not sound as cringy. Yeah. Just because I've watched, like, uh, you can see that with anime, like, where you watch it, so, oh, yeah, and you feel fine, anyway, and, and, then, anime. and then, and then you go watch that anime dub, and you're like, mm. uh, like, that happens to me a lot, like, whenever I show my anime clips to my friends that don't like anime or stuff like that, I'm just like, I'm kind of like cringing in the corner, I was like, oh, I forgot that I'm watching oh. this, I'm, I'm showing these to, like, normal people. You're like, oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, but, but then you watch it, and then it's fine. But yeah, I think it's more of like, I think... If it gets too cringy and everything, then yeah, I might switch to like Japanese voice acting just because it will remedy that. But then again, I'm so used to the to the characters' voices in English. You like this setup more? Right. Side by side. Do you guys do? I don't know. They, they, they kind like, of have comment, like, and subscribe if you have an opinion. If you don't, not then, on this, just on anything. Just on anything. Just that's how it works. Do you have a, an opinion about like when we're talking about gonorrhea or you, uh, or hepatitis? Which do one, you which like one wins? E. coli? Well, then like, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. And just tell us which one's better, which one's top tier, which is low tier. I know it was kind of a slow week, and we don't really have much planned. I know we're, we're tired, boys. Yeah. But we're here. But, but hey, we're but here because we love podcasting. Yeah, but that's why, that's why they just want to see two dudes talking. Isn't that what we do anyway? So just sometimes we happen to talk about video games, sometimes like, we don't. Like the Vine said, what's better than this? Just guys being dudes. Just guys being dudes. Uh, we, all we need is a hot tub and five feet of space. Patreon.com slash VGX7. You can go there. You can give us money. <laughs> and maybe... Enough money that I could put this on iTunes for the world to hear. And have, like, ideas of what to talk about. And I just go... On yeah, you could well, be like, hey, y'all should talk about, instead of E. coli, I, I don't know, AIDS. And we'll be like, all right. That's he gave us up. He gave us five bucks, so, you know, we kind of have to now. Hmm? Uh, it's, it's really that simple, really. I mean, just make it happen. Like, just make it happen. You give us money, and then we get ideas of what to talk about. Yeah. Well, that's the cool thing about us. We can just talk about and literally stay here for days without like a dull moment. Yeah. Pretty sure if, if anybody's going to listen to us, it's because of that. Not because of our opinions and games. Or because games. I nagged you enough on Facebook and I like hit you. I was like, hey, new episode's up. Watch it. Yeah, I share it with all my friends and everything. I, I actually have a few friends. And your friend, dad? I, I, I actually, and my dad. I actually have a few friends that like whenever I release it, they, uh, and they watch it start, like, every time. I should start like Facebook live streaming the recording. <laughs> the recording is like of uh, the podcast. Just be ready to watch it. I'll be like, "This is the raw version. You won't see anywhere else." Oh, like the openings that we. <laughs> what, are, what are we gonna do about? Okay, let's talk about that infamous December footage. Okay, so uh, I, I think I mentioned this on the last podcast, but we have an exclusive podcast you will only hear if you are one of our patrons over at Patreon.com. We have a podcast that essentially we think was a train wreck. It wasn't worth putting out to uh, was, the masses. But if you love a good train wreck, we have a special treat for you over at Patreon. And it wasn't even because of us. It was, it was, there, was a, there, was a, there was a different figure. In there was podcast. a boy by the name of Thomas. He's special. And his last name isn't Train. No, but he might as well have been He might as well have been with the train wreck he left us with. Because he just barreled through the podcast. and oh, Man. Five minutes into it, Ian walked away. He came back. I came back with a Bible. Because <laughs> that man needed Jesus. <laughs> We all did that night. Nothing yeah. was. Sad. It was. It, it's. It, it's. It's. It, it's definitely a. A. a it'll be, it definitely probably if we had a, the most entertainment po- entertaining podcast, it would be that one. But it's. You better does it just be? I have just, no, you just go into like no expectations. Uh, if you're like PC in any way, just don't be. <laughs> if you're politically correct, don't be. <laughs> don't be. Why would you do that? At least, at least for that. At least for that hour, just don't be. Just like. Just forget anything can happen and then maybe you'll enjoy it. I want to thank you all for joining us tonight. 
<laughs> Dude, I'm going to love watching this again. For, oh, I'm going to watch this and be like, what am I doing? No, no th- this is what this is what this is what podcasts are about. It's just because we're in a dry spell. We're in a dry spell. Yeah, I, I, I think once we play the, the Mickey Mouse game and we have things to talk about it. For a split second, I was like, the Mickey Mouse game? And yeah. I was like, oh, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, it's a Mickey Mouse game. I thought you were talking about Mickey's uh, Speedway USA on N64. I'm like, Hopefully I'll play that. Driver USA. That's a good game. That's a good one. Especially when I go to the arcades. I went to one not too long ago and played. I was like, I saw all these arcades. And I'm like, that's a good one. And then I played I played the Luigi's Mansion one. That was... That one. Yeah. It was too slow. And then I want to go play... And then I, I want to go play Terminator. I'm like, that's more like it. VGX7.com. That will take you directly to our YouTube page. You can comment and subscribe. Uh, you can go to VGX7TV.com. That'll take you to our website, which I have not been updating regularly, as I should. But, you know, we you have content now. there, too. We have articles, news articles on gaming, all that good stuff. So, Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Hey, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll see you guys next time. Kisses, hugs, and bedrooms. Bye. <laughs>